fitness trainer Jackie Warner claims her ex Jillian Michaels used to spit on people when they went out to eat together. We'd get thrown out of nice restaurants because she was screaming loud, cursing, and I couldn't take it, Warner, 53, alleged on the Hot Takes and Deep Dives with Jess Rothschild podcast Monday while discussing her 90s relationship with the biggest loser alum. I just was not the same. I mean, she used to spit on people, Warner claimed. The former workout star said she eventually couldn't stand to be around Michaels, now 47, anymore, so she broke up with her. I couldn't live with her. I couldn't stand to hear her breathe in bed, she recalled. I mean, it got so bad when she got on my nerves so much that I could not do day to day with her. Warner, who did give Michaels some credit for being a good gift giver compared to her other exes, said their seven year age gap also played a role in their split. The age difference and her making really bad decisions and quite frankly, her just not being a good girl, she just wasn't a good girl, Warner said. And I did bad things, but I've always been a good girl. Warner said in a previous episode of the same podcast that she dated Michaels for six and a half years before they went their separate ways. A rep for Michaels did not immediately respond to Page Six's request for a comment. Michaels got engaged to Deshina Marie Menudo in November 2021 after dating for three years. The personal trainer was previously engaged to Heidi Rhodes from 2015 to 2018. They share daughter Lucinzia, 12, and son Phoenix, 9. During the Candid Podcast interview, Warner also reflected on her 2017 DUI arrest, saying it destroyed her life and left her with PTSD. What happened to me when I was 50 was I took an Ambien and woke up handcuffed in jail, she recounted. I took an Ambien to go to sleep. I'm not kidding about this, this happened when I was 50. She continued, it destroyed my life. It completely destroyed my life. I had so many positive things going on. So I can't sleep. I've never been able to sleep, except when I moved here to Ohio because I don't have to worry so much. The former Bravo personality claimed she hadn't consumed any alcohol and had somehow blacked out on the sleep medication, which she had been taking for three years. I went, apparently blacked out, got in my car, drove to the 7-Eleven, got some food, got back in my car, and I was filmed doing it. So I was on TMZ the next day. And I got arrested at gunpoint with this really horrible cop, she said. I mean, I was driving a Porsche. I don't look dangerous. And if you looked at me for two seconds, you see that I was not even there. I have no memory of this. Warner ended up striking a plea deal that included two years of probation, an alcohol education course and a fine. Mm -hmm.